Hey Browns fans, Nathan Zagura here at the Cross Country Mortgage Campus in Berea where the Browns have concluded day nine of training camp. And this of course is the two minute drill brought to you by University Hospitals. Let me tell you folks, it was a hot one here today for Browns practice. The team in pads again for the second consecutive day for the first time in this training camp. And there was a lot of action, a lot of situational work down in the red zone and a lot of big plays, especially by the Browns defense. I think it started off early where Deshaun Watson rolled out. Now David Njoku did a great job sitting down in the zone, was not able to come up with the pass. It popped in the air and Greg Newsom got the first interception on the day for the defense. Newcomer Lavert Hill would also get an interception today off of a tipped pass down in the red zone. It actually got to Ronnie Harrison off of his helmet into the air and Lavert Hill who just joined the team yesterday got a big pick for the defense as well. Curtis Weaver would recover a fumble. So some turnovers for Joe Woods defense. A big point of emphasis for this football team. Coverage was good for most of the day as well as they got into really a physical period. Some seven on sevens, but then those team periods down in the red zone, they were physical. They were crisp, clean, good football from the defensive side. The offense, of course, would have some moments. Some notes for the offense. Today, Josh Rosen got the most extensive work with the third team we have seen him get so far this training camp. And I thought he had a very nice day. It started early on a two-point play, getting a conversion to Nakia Griffin-Stewart, the tight end, right in the middle of the defense. Also had some nice balls to young Mike Harley Jr., the all-time leading receiver in terms of receptions at the U in the history of the U, believe it or not, had a great sequence where he had back-to-back -back touchdowns in the back corner of the end zone as the Browns were getting David Bell back and Anthony Schwartz back today, but neither were participating in team drills, only in the individual period. But one of the best plays of the day also came off the hand of Rosen to end things out for the offense as he found tight end Zaire Mitchell Payton in the back of the end zone for a touchdown. There was dancing, there was jubilation, and there was a lot of fun because I think this team was very happy to get good work on both sides of the ball, but also to get this practice over with in this heat. It's so hot and so humid out here, so obviously hydration was important. One thing, though, that will always keep your cup full is watching Nick Chubb run the football, and there was play after play after play where Nick Chubb would hit the hole and frankly I think he would be gone. One thing I want to note, remember earlier, I thought this was a pretty good sequence. It was in the same series where the ball bounced off of David Njoku's hand, ended up in the hands of Greg Newsom for an interception. Well Deshaun Watson went right back to the Chief a couple plays later, right in the middle of the field, pretty much the same spot, and they connected for a big play. So it's important, training camp, mistakes can happen, learning from them, growing from them. That's what the Browns hope to do and continue to take forward as we get ready now less than a week away from the preseason opener this Friday down in Jacksonville. For the latest on your Browns, keep it tuned to cleanbrowns.com and the Browns mobile app. This has been the two-minute drill brought to you by University Hospitals.